Good morning, friends. Today in our continued Covenant and Kingdom sermon series, we are talking about Joseph. No, not Joseph, Jesus's earthly father, but Joseph, the favorite son of Jacob. God blessed Joseph with many gifts and abilities that God would use for good. And one of those was the ability to interpret dreams. Now remember that Joseph Joseph's brothers were already jealous of him because he was the favorite. And when he was in his teens, he had two dreams that he most likely boastingly chose to share with his family, telling them that they would all eventually bow down to him. Now, I'm going to guess that Joseph knew um, that he's the favorite, and yet he chose to go ahead and share this dream anyway, knowing that it would probably make his brothers more mad, and it surely did. So much so that they decided to sell him into slavery and then went home and told dad that Joe was dead. But, you know, God does amazing things with our silly and hateful actions. God put Joseph right where God wanted him. Joe's character was tested, and yet he remained faithful to God. Joseph eventually ended up interpreting dreams for Pharaoh that caused Pharaoh to store a big surplus of food for a famine that was surely to come. And this uh, surplus of food eventually saved not only Egypt, but also Joseph's family and the nation of Israel. This also brought about reconciliation within Joseph's own family. Now, one interesting and perhaps overlooked part of this story is that while we understand that God used everything for good, in order for this good to happen, Joseph needed to have a change of heart. He became a humble servant instead of a boasting teenager with powerful knowledge of God or powerful knowledge from God. So friends, this week, think about this. Think about the fact that it's not enough to just serve and love others. God wants us to seek God and humbly serve him. Have a blessed week, everyone. Amen.